So guys, today I'm going to talk about single directory components. In short, this is just an introduction video of single directory components so that you can explore and so that you get a starting point uh, to what exactly single directory components is and how it's going to make our life easier in the long run. So let's start. Um, so as I mentioned, I've been working with Drupal for less than 12 years and there have been a lot of uh, challenges when it when it comes to the theming layer of Drupal, a lot hasn't changed there except introduction of Symfony and Symfony and Tweak. <coughs> so, what are the challenges that most Drupal themers face? Sorry, often the temp. Sorry, sorry guys. Often the template style sheet. Assets are scattered across the team. So, so if you're working on a component, so for example, if you want to modify a button, you you would have to uh, you don't have a single place where the style sheet exists or the template exists. So it will be a scattered across the team. So finding all the assets becomes slightly difficult. Second issue that we often face is there are multiple ways to uh, alter a business logic for example if you want to alter a button layout so or uh, uh, if you want to uh, alter say for example a field how how it's rendered so there are multiple ways you can you you can you do it through twig you can have a pre process in theme so there are so there's no standard way of doing it I mean, there is a standard way of doing it, but there are multiple entry points wherein you can alter the business logic. Third thing is, since assets are scattered, it's, it's challenging to maintain the code base over a longer period of time. We all must have noticed this. Like as the theme, uh, as the theme and the components start increasing, uh, it becomes challenging to maintain the code base. Fourth point is like. If we like, we have to define a library separately and attach it separately in the code base. So, introduction of Drupal libraries since Drupal eight, we have to uh, define a library and assign. For example, say if we if we want a CSS to be applied, so we need to create a library first in libraries.yaml and then attach it to whichever component or whichever template or whichever rendering array we want that to be applied to. So we have to define the scope for that. So this is another problem. And finally, for a themer without a Drupal background, it would be challenging to troubleshoot the issue in uh, the theme layer, because there are a lot of uh, practices which are specific to Drupal world. So to address this, what Drupal is doing is it's moving to SDC. So HTC is single digital, single uh, directory components, wherein <clears throat> it's a new approach of theming where, wherein all the files required for a component will be grouped together in a single directory. So I'm going to show you a, a single directory, how it looks like. Uh, but before that, we like, let's see what are the other advantages. The second advantage of this, uh, SDC is it reduces the steps required to output HTML, CSS, and JS in a Drupal page. So if you include a component, so the number of steps will reduce drastically. CSS, JS is scoped to the component and automatically gets loaded. So, so currently, as I mentioned, we need a library to be defined and we need to define where, um, what, what would be the scope and where this library needs to be loaded. But Whereas in SDC, we don't need to, um, we don't need to do this. The scope would be automatically loaded. So as I mentioned in the first point, so uh, all the files are grouped together. So we also have CSS and JS files. So I'll talk about the structure. It will be clear when I discuss the structure with you guys. And finally, any module and theme can provide a component and that can be overridden within your theme. So you just copy. So for example, if you have a but button component and 
uh, it's provided by some of one of your team and you want to override it you can just copy that uh, component in your theme and just make whatever changes and and the thing will like the component will be overridden let's talk about more benefits of uh, uh, this approach of overall theming first is organization so grouping all the necessary code into directory makes like uh, makes it really easy maintaining your code will be much easier Autom automatic library creation as i mentioned so um stc will automatically look for your component css js and and if it is if it exists it will be automatically loaded and scoped just for that component reusability the next thing is a component can like it it will be modular and it can be reused so you can just take out that component and use it somewhere else so uh, the next benefit of using um, MCC is its consistency. By using components, developers can ensure like uh, that the web applications have like a consistent look and feel. Scalability is another benefit. You can specifically test one component in isolation, whereas uh, currently that is like difficult in the current approach. And finally, collaboration is much easier because you have multiple teams working on um, multiple dev teams of developers working, it becomes much easier to maintain and uh, collaborate. So um, let's get started. Let, let me introduce you to how um, STC component looks like. And uh, so for now, um, it, the STC is introduced in Drupal 10.1.x as an experimental module. You can just enable this module and get started with a component based approach for the theming. Um, so how does a component directory looks like? So I I had a theme or Olivero theme. So I used that and I created a component folder and I made I, I wanted to create a button of component. So what I did was I started by including the twig file. Um, a, component.yaml file. Basically, the component.yaml file is the definition of this component. And buttons, CSS, like CSS, JS, and all the assets are grouped together. So you see all of these are tightly held in this folder. So, so if, if the CSS, JS file in, exists, you don't need to specify where, like if this needs to be loaded. So they will be automatically loaded for this scope. Uh, there is another, uh, <clears throat> so if you want to create a new component, you can make use of component library generator. This is the module which you can enable and uh, you can run this rush command, rush generate team STC component. It will ask you a series of questions. Uh, what, what you, like, where do you want the component to be generated? Uh, which team this needs to be there? Uh, what would be the name, et cetera, et cetera. And finally, uh, like a structure like this would be created for you uh, by default to start with. I show you an example of how component.yaml looks like. So this is what it looks like. So you need to define the name of the component. So as I mentioned, if you use this approach, the YAML file will be created on its own. So then you just need to uh, punch in very basic details like what would be the component name, um, what are the properties? So, so the properties is basically what you want to pass of, uh, to this component as an argument. So, so for for my example, I'm using a button. So, button text is what I'm passing as a component or uh, property. And you can also specify which are the required properties, library uh, dependency that you need to pass, and that that's all. Once you have this component.yaml, uh, you can use the uh, you can use the attribute that you had passed as an um, argument, like the property which you had passed. You can directly use it as a twig variable. So this is how my button.twig looks like. 
And finally, you can include this component in any other twig file. So this is how you include it. So first the theme name and then, then the component name. And you have to pass the um, you have to pass the argument that you need along with it. So this so basically this is how the uh, base like a component looks like and uh, that's a small example and a small presentation in short what I wanted to display. Any questions? So the um the the module that you mentioned, right? SDC module, does it come with components or you have to create the components on your own? Uh, you mean the that module library generator this right? What, yeah, this module here. Yeah. So does it come with like pre-built components or you have to create all of it on your on your own? No, it, it's a command line prompt. So once you like once you um run this code. Rush command, rush generate STC a theme STC component. It is going to ask you a series of questions. For example, where do you want to generate this component, and what what would be the name of the component? So for in my case, it was button. So okay. so if you follow the steps, so all these files will be created for you, and this can uh, you can just like modify whatever uh, business logic. That you want to do. Okay. So the component itself, like the com, I I I saw briefly. You showed the YAML file, right? It looks like yeah. it, it looks like it creates a field. Uh, I'm not sure if I understand that part properly, but um, okay. Let me... a... so it creates a button component. So any clickable button. And uh, the property that like the argument that it takes is a text. So what what button text you want yeah. to be displayed? So just a just an example component that I made. Um, this text component is then um, used to render the button. And how do you call this from another tweak template? Is this you just pass? Uh, you just include the button component and then pass the text variable. So this can be, you can pass multiple arguments. Here. Okay. Ame, I have a question. So uh, yes, let's, say, yeah, let's say this is this component is created in a base theme and the theme is being, uh, you know, used as a parent theme in the child theme. Okay. And I want to override this particular component there in my theme. So how, how it can be done or like, is it doable? It is doable. What you can do is you can just um, copy the, just like how we override a tweak file or any template, just copy the base component from your like uh, base theme to the new theme and make whatever changes. So uh, the new, the component in your current theme, the child theme will be, uh, will be override, or overriding your base theme. That is Basically, how it works. Yeah, basically, if I only want to override a tweak file in that particular component, and so uh, I'll have to copy the whole component that will have redundant yeah. files in that case. Uh, I haven't really tried doing that, but but uh, I believe at least you need to include component dot yaml and the say tweak file. Okay, got it. So basically, the uh, the YAML file so that the component is defined, yeah. and then the tweak file, which is then the tweak uh, file you because provide. you want to change it. There's a question in the chat to um, Ame um, from Damien. Okay. What what do the components look like in the CMS, or do you always call them from tweak templates? Uh, not necessarily. We only we don't only call it from the a tweak template. Uh, there are multiple other ways as well of calling it. So, um, uh, if you check the documentation uh, on Drupal.org, they have provided multiple ways. So,
I don't have it handy, but let me uh, search and let me pass it to you guys. So yeah, this is the one. You can using it in tweak files is like uh, like they have provided how to embed a component is is given. How 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 you can use it using render array that is also provided. There are multiple ways. Also, the question the good, is like. The, yeah, go sorry, ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I'm so, saying uh, with the single directory component, uh, there is also a way where you can create your own design uh, storybook. There's a module available with the SDC, uh, SDC server or something, where you can yes. create your whole component and create your storybook. So you can see what exactly the component will look like and you can extend the, the component to any event. Yes. So these are all the modules which are currently um, CL server. CL server is the one. CL server, okay. Storybook integration. This is similar to design system. When you are going to create a design system and you want to use like a, a similar to pattern lab, similar to bootstrap. So similar. Uh, the SDC module is for you. So if you want to create your own style style guide on design system, you can utilize this and you can reuse because it's a single component, single directory. You can just copy paste to anywhere and you can utilize this. Right. Cool. Other other questions for Amay? Alrighty. Um, thanks, Ame. I'll stop the recording now.